Good morning everyone, it's the weekend, very exciting, sun is shining, I thought I'm gonna get right on camera, do a little makeup look, I have a lot of new products to show you and to actually try out because some of them I didn't even try and yeah, I actually went to the gym as well this morning so it was a very productive day, I'm happy, let me put my hair away because I washed it, I dyed it yesterday, yes, we're in my room again because this is my new filming room. I actually went really crazy. I got so much makeup. Like I have so many new brushes, mascaras. I don't even know which mascara I should use because I got two. Um, maybe I should zoom in a little. Yeah, up close and personal. Since we've never been this up close on these videos, like I remember a lot of you were saying um, we're always too far, but it was two of us. So it was difficult. Like one head would be here and then one head would be here. So it was like impossible. This thing is annoying me. It's like a hanger. It's like a sticky stick on hanger. Not hanger. Hanger? It's to hang something on. And I stick it on the on the door and it's like, oh. Anyway, these days I like doing my brows first because I feel like after you've done your foundation and then you apply your brows, they look kind of weird. Like they're not very clean. Let me quickly do this. I have a mirror in front, but like the camera is kind of blocking it. Maybe I should use this one. <laughs> I can't talk when I'm doing my brows. <laughs> I can't talk when I'm doing my brows and my eyeliner. And also other parts. <laughs> I feel like I had a very long um, break from filming. It was Easter, I was sick. It was so many things. My boyfriend's parents were here for five weeks, for four weeks. So yeah, I couldn't really vlog much. Boop. But we are back. Not sure for how long, but I'm trying. Honestly, I hate doing my brows. I'm actually considering doing microblading because my brows are so short they're like look how short they are like there's no tail here like i have to always paint it since i um plucked this brow now it's like very short and yeah i just hate doing my brows so maybe i'm thinking of doing microblading but very natural kind of just like the end and maybe just a little bit here and here so it's not too dramatic but i feel like now for the summer it would be nice to have brows that you don't need to do you know just put a little brow gel and go I want that. I mean, my brows are not too bad, like they're full, but I don't like this end part. Like I have to like literally paint it like that. I'll fix them later. Okay, we're gonna use this primer that Claudia told me to get from Charlotte Tilbury. It's called Invisible UV Flawless Poreless Primer. It's got 50 SPF. It looks very nice. I like this little packaging. Oh, I like the texture. How much do we need? Hmm, doesn't smell much. Feels very nice and hydrating, actually. Now that summer is coming up, I need a SPF primer and SPF everything since, you know, me and Claudia never used SPF on a daily basis. Now, I think we suddenly woke up and <laughs> we finally decided that it's important to do that, so, you know, I've been putting SPF almost every day. I still don't do it when I don't go out anywhere. Like, if I'm at home, I don't put SPF. Um, but they say that you should. I don't know, I'm just too lazy. I put it when I go out somewhere. And also it's hard because when we take pictures with, like, a flash, it's like, I don't want to, like, have this flashback in my face to be pale. So I also don't put on those days. I actually really like this primer. It's very nice. It's very like glowing. I have a lot of new products, but one thing I don't have is foundation. So we're gonna use the old foundation. I think I'm just gonna use Estee Lauder. I'm gonna mix these two colors because I have a bit of tan. Well, I put it on Monday, but it's still actually pretty. Oh, actually, maybe it's not that good. Maybe this is gonna be too dark. Okay, I'm just gonna use this one. Put it on my little plate. I literally cannot wait till summer. The spring is officially here, but it's not like it's been amazing. Only today is like actually gonna be 18 degrees. So I think we're gonna go to the park, maybe take some
take some pictures. And yeah, enjoy the, the sun. I really wanted to move away from London, but I think we're gonna be here for a little while and maybe one day, who knows, we'll move to LA. But actually, maybe not even LA. My boyfriend really wants to move to Spain, so let's see. We should explore, but it's quite difficult with two cats. <laughs> um, I don't know. I got some new foundation brushes. I've got this one. This is my favorite from It Cosmetics. And I also got this one from Makeup by Mario. It's got like an angle to it and it's so nice and soft. And by mistake, I actually ordered two of them. Like, no, I have two. Which is fine because I actually really like this brush and it's really good for contour as well. Um, wait, it's not short. It's really nice for contour and yeah, I actually really like it for foundation too. I still love the double wear, double wear is literally the best foundation ever. I feel like it stays the longest out of all the foundation. Like if I put this foundation, I will have it all day and I don't have to touch up. Like my forehead is not gonna like move or anything. It's so good. I use this foundation a lot when I take pictures because if I take pictures all day, I need my face snatched, you know? Oh gosh, I'm quiet. Oops. I'm gonna drag it down. Actually, I didn't realize how pale I was. Because <gasps> I put faked on a Monday and today's Saturday. Great, now I'm gonna be pale for my pictures. I also didn't put fake tan on my face because I feel like fake tan dries my face too much. It's like so dry. I don't want to like damage my skin by putting fake tan every week, you know? So I just don't do it. I don't do it. The foundation is on. I'm not gonna put cream bronzer because I feel like <laughs> my face is too brown already. Like I've done a bit of a dark shade. So if I put bronzer, I'm gonna look crazy. Anyway. For concealer, I'm also gonna use the same one, Huda Beauty, this is my favorite concealer. Uh, I use color 3.5 and also 3.1. The 3.5 is a bit darker. Oh gosh, it's actually finishing. I feel like this is the best concealer on the market, I swear to God, like, it's so good. I haven't found anything that's this good. And I'm gonna put a bit of this lighter one under my eyes. This is my favorite sponge, by the way. This is from um, Makeup by Ariel and Morphe collection, and they actually sell them individually now, so I bought like three of them, because they are so soft. Like, look at this. So soft and squishy. I love it. And it's like very big. It's the best, honestly. Oh my gosh, I'm so close. I'm like, hello. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use this blush in the color Peach from Refai. I really love the citrine color, and I had to get this one. Look at that. So pretty, I already used it. Um, where's my brush? And I love to use this Tom Ford brush with it. It's super soft and nice. Great for cream products. I'll just put it like there. It's actually a nice color for summer. Very peachy. I love a peachy blush. Mm. It looks so good when you're like bronzed. Bronzed peachy go goddess. I just put it everywhere. I just don't put it on the nose. Like I, I don't understand the nose blush. Like no, that's not for me. <laughs> and then I take the beauty blender and kind of like go around the edges to blend it even better. I actually really like using beauty blender for blush as well. Um, but I like this with the what's the brand? The Rare Beauty blush actually, because it comes with a brush. So then you just apply it like this, and then you blend it with your beauty blender it's very nice i really need to do makeup declutter because i have so much makeup and like half of it i don't even use and it's probably i don't know expired so yeah i have to do that it's hard to even see like i have so much stuff i don't even use it because i can't be bothered to be going through it you know it's like the drawers are full so i only use the stuff that i use on a daily basis so yeah definitely need a little declutter I'm gonna do my under eye and I actually started using these from Amazon. They're actually really good because they're very like pointed so it goes really nice under your eye. It's like quite good and like thin, very comfortable. And you can get like a lot of them so 
you always have a nice clean one to use. I still like the Beauty Blender one, but it's too thick now, I feel. And it doesn't have a proper point. So I actually started doing my powder differently. I used the translucent one under my eyes, and then I used the color Honey all over the face. Is this Honey? Yeah, this is Honey. Because it's a little bit like, it's got a bit more color, so I feel like I'm not putting like a white powder on my face. I feel like it's a better match, especially when I'm tanned. Or especially when I use the darker foundation, so this looks pretty good. I don't even remember the last time I used normal powder on my face, like... I just like this type of powder. With a puff like this. It stays all day. It's so good. I even got a new mini eye palette. It's from this brand called Debs, and it's so cute. Look at this! So perfect for traveling. And it's got the perfect little nude colors. Transition, nice to shimmery ones, dark brown, this medium brown, and this like white one's perfect. I love it. It's perfect like everyday palette. Makeup. I don't know what makeup I should do. I think something neutral because I'm taking pictures and I'm doing some reels and some TikToks. So I need something on a neutral side, I guess. Okay, so I need your opinion of what I should do. Since I still haven't edited my Seychelles video, do I still post it or is it too late now? I mean, I kind of want to post it because I love seeing these videos like in a few years, you know, great memory to kind of watch that. So I feel like I should do it, but I'm kind of dreading it because I filmed some stuff on the camera and I don't even know where the footage is. And then some stuff I filmed on my phone, um, so I would have to like, go back on my pictures and find it which I'm kind of lazy but I should do it like I know I should do it but let me know if you want to see that video or is it too late I don't know but this is such a nice color this shiny one here look at that perfect little kind of bronze vibes by the way I dissolved my lips last week I don't know if you can tell back to my original self <laughs> it's been like two years since i had them done and i actually wanted a refill like i wanted them to be more big and also i had a few lumps so i'm actually making a video about it so next week is it next week yeah it's next week i'm refilling them so i'm gonna video that and hopefully i'll post it on youtube soon so you'll be able to see but i'm excited i just want them bigger i just need like Plump, you know, because it's been like two and a half years since I did it. So I'm due for a lip filler and it's summer. So I want to glow up for the summer. So next month is Scarlett's wedding. And I don't know when Claudia is planning to come back, but she has to be here for the wedding. Otherwise, she's done and she's the bridesmaid as well. So I don't know. She's actually waiting for her visa now. So I don't know. How is she going to? be able to come because it's in five weeks <laughs> the wedding the wedding is literally like in five weeks so i was actually gonna go see claudia now in may but i'm thinking it's too close to the wedding so i think i'll go in june instead for like 10 days or something but i don't know she's telling me to come now i'm not ready i'm not ready to come now Eyeliner, my favorite part. I actually got a new eyeliner from Stila. This is the micro tip. It's super little and it's so perfect for creating a very thin eyeliner in this brown because I love brown for the day. Look at that. Like, oh, I don't know if you can see it. Look how small this is. It's so tiny. And now I actually changed the way I do my eyeliner. So before I was like doing this like higher and then like all this like weird stuff. But now I actually do it a little bit more like straight so i don't really go where my brow ends because my brow is super short so now i go like more like how, how it's supposed to go i don't know every day is a struggle with eyeliner so let's see today yeah i'm gonna go like straight did i go too low <sighs> My hand is like shaking today, I don't know why. I will have to do. 
I'll just do the end part anyway. And I think I need some light color on the lid. I feel like it's a bit bland. I'm gonna add this lighter shade. Mm, better. I got a new lash curler which I'm very excited about. This is from Tweezerman and it's actually called Pro Curl. It's for round eyes. Um, I don't really have round eyes, but I like the fact that it's actually more curved so it can get all the edges. Like my other curler that I used to use would never get the edges and these would be always like that. They weren't like curled. So this is the old one I used to use from Laura Mercier and this is the new one. Like I don't know if you can see the difference. Like this is more curved. So I think this is actually really good and it's very strong. Mine is pretty old so it doesn't have the strength. This really curls your lashes like it's amazing. This is the before. Sorry, I keep looking in the viewfinder because I'm kind of using it as my mirror. Alright. This is like strong. It's like almost hurts. definitely curled them I don't know I'm really bad at curling lashes mascara my favorite part I got two new mascaras this is from Lancome and it's called idol lash I've seen it on TikTok so I thought you know let me give it a go and then this is wait no, this is the this is the booster from Lancome I actually got the booster as well and then I got this Ilia mascara because I saw it in Sephora, but they actually didn't have it. So then I got it on the Sephora.com. Looks like this. It's actually very nice. Like when I saw this mascara, I was like, this is so perfect. Like, look at this. This is the bristles. So I don't know if you can see. So this is the bristles. It's got like these very short ones. And then these are super separated. It acts as a little comb. So when I started using this, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have clumps anymore. Like it's the best kind of brushing through mascara to get rid of the clumps it's amazing i love it but on its own i feel like i need more volume because this is more of a lengthening mascara as opposed to volume so maybe i should use this first wait i should use this first <laughs> we're gonna use the booster first because apparently everyone said that this is also amazing so let's see from Lancome, the booster I love a little booster. Oh gosh, I think I put too much. Okay. Then I'm gonna use the Idol Blush. Feather Light Gel Formula. Micro Bristles No Clump. Hmm. Oh my god. I do like the brush. It's like curved. Look at that. It's pretty nice. This brush reminds me of the one from Huda Beauty, which I really love. Like, this is my favorite mascara, so... Oops. Oh, it's so good. Not bad. I like it. Very natural, I'd say. Let me take this one out. Sometimes I like going over this mascara. I told Clada to get this mascara because honestly, these bristles are so long and they literally like, they brush your like, lashes. Like, look at that. They just like brush them. Like, can you see that? How they like brush them? If you have long lashes, you're gonna love this. No more clumps. Oh, yes. And then you can like go from top as well. I love it. Too many steps though. <laughs> I need to find like, steps well i quite like this primer it's supposed to like grow your lashes as well but not <laughs> let's see i'm always on the hunt for a new mascara so if you have any favorites let me know you know what i liked actually i used huda beauty one day with this Ilia, and it was so good like the perfect combo but i actually really like this mascara as well this is what the lashes look like 
very like separated, very wispy, I guess. Not too bad. I got some new products from Makeup by Mario. I got a bronzer and a highlighter. The bronzer is in the color medium. Um, when I have a very tanned face, or not tanned face, when I use a dark foundation, this is a little too light for me because I used it like yesterday, but let's give it a go again. I also got this brush. It's so pretty, look at that. I thought it was gonna be as soft as the one I have, which is this one, but it's actually a little bit different. Like, I don't know if you can see, but these bristles look very like curly. These ones don't. So this one is a little bit harsher than this one. This is super soft. But it's still a nice brush. I like the double-ended side. You can kind of use the small one. For a little contour. But you see, this is too light, like... I mean, I guess it's natural. It's too light if I'm using such a dark foundation. Um... I may have to get the medium deep, I think was it? Medium deep? I don't know. But it's quite nice. I like the kind of reddish shade. This is perfect for the summer when I'm like red. Because you know I tan red. For now it's okay, I guess. Natural, I guess. I feel like my camera is gonna die in a minute. And then I'm gonna have to like redo the whole setup. I hate that. This camera dies after like... 20 minutes. After 20 minutes the battery is dead, so I always have like, I have four batteries, they're all like charging. Um, but it's so annoying because every time I like have to change the whole setup. The bronzer looks good actually, when you pack it on it's really nice, it's very like natural, it gives a nice flawless sort of finish. I like it. Now for the highlighter, this is the highlighter in the color Honey, it's so pretty, look at that. I've been using it also every day since I got it. With this brush. Just here. It's like a golden... It's like a little bit darker than Champagne Pop. I love it. That's the only one they had in Sephora, by the way. So that's, I just grabbed it. I was like, I'll take that. Then I blend it with this end of the brush. I actually also use this end of the brush for blush, if I put like powder blush, blend, and then at the end I always do my brow gel, because I feel like when I put highlighter like it goes on the brows, so brow gel goes at the end, and this is the new one from Refi, it's like a tinted brow gel, and it's so good, oh my gosh, like me and Claudia we always um, dye our brows, so if you don't want to dye your brows, like you just put this and they look so good, like Oh my gosh, I use it like when I go to the gym or when I just want a very natural face and I want some brows. I use this literally every day. Um, I have a few colors. Well, actually, Claudia received it, but she's not here, so it's mine. Um, this is soft brown. This is a deep brown. Actually, I'll use the deep brown. I also really like the medium brown. So I like the little ball, but the actual brow gel is so strong, like... They stay all day. Look, it's such a good brow gel and such a good tint. Honestly amazing. I feel like if I do my microblading and I just use this brow gel, I'm gonna have like the perfect brows. I'm not gonna even need to like fill them in at all. That's my aim for the summer. I feel like I'm getting old and lazy to do my makeup. <laughs> I want everything like done. I want my brows to be done already. I want everything. Perfect. I'm even thinking of doing lip blush only because I want to like Define them so like on a daily basis. It would look so nice and pink. I don't know Let me know if you've had lip blush done and what's your experience for the lips. I'm gonna use Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in the nude iconic nude. I actually really like it. I started using it again It lasts very well when you eat It's a perfect nude color. I'm gonna use Penelope Pink for my lipstick. I got a new one because mine was like finished. And this is so nice. It's very light. So I only put a little bit. The camera died, of course. 
Anyway, this is the lip and then on top of that I'm gonna use this lip oil, tinted lip oil from L'Oreal. I got a second one from Amazon, it's so good. This is in the color Sugar Plum. It's very pretty and like pink. It's giving Barbie vibes. Look at that. It's a good one. Nice. See how pretty? I love it. I'm gonna just do my waterline with this color Roach from Urban Decay. You know sometimes I like curling my lashes after the mascara, you just need to be careful. But it gives them more of a oomph. Just like slightly. Look at that. <sighs> just need to put black um, eyeliner. Oh gosh, the hair is like hurting. You just need to put black eyeliner in your waterline because your eyes look a bit weird so yeah this is the makeup done looks nice and natural i actually really like this bronzer it's not like choppy or anything or dirty you know what i mean it just gives a very subtle sort of look i'm gonna do my hair quickly they're still kind of wet and i have the perfect product to show you i actually received it yesterday it's so exciting it's from ghd and it's their new do it style two in one hot air styler. <gasps> this is exciting. Look at that. Yes. Professional two in one hot air styler. Quickly transform hair from wet to style. Mm. I like this look. It looks very beautiful. Oh, maybe I'm gonna have to like go out a little bit more so you can actually see my hair. Ooh, wow, look at this. So Claudia went to Coachella last weekend and I was like, do a video for YouTube from Coachella. It's like, oh, I don't know. I'm going to be with so many like friends. It's going to be difficult. I'm going to want to film some TikTok videos. I'm going to need to take pictures. I'm going to need to do this. And then I don't know if I'll be able to, I don't know, do a, a video for YouTube. So I don't think she even did it. So you'll have to be watching just me for now. She's a little lazy these days. Oh, I like this. Nice little cover. User guide. Let's see. Maybe I should read it before. Pretty easy to use. My head is like starting to dry too quickly. Anyway, I also got this um, Sleek Talker Wet to Sleek Styling Oil. Looks very good. I actually really love how their products smell. I have the Bodyguard. This is the heat protection spray and I use it every day and it's so good oh my gosh and I just oh it smells so expensive and I love the like spray it like sprays so nicely and evenly um I love it but I think I'm gonna try this let's try this so yeah Claudia's been living her best life um I don't know I don't know when I'm gonna see her literally I haven't seen her since last year June or July so like almost a year. What? I haven't seen it for almost a year. This is crazy. Like, it's really sad. I've been like so upset some some days. Like some days are easy and some days I'm like, I'm like so lonely. It's crazy. So Scarlett has a full-time job now. Alina has a full-time job and I don't even see them anymore. Like I'm fully lonely. Like my boyfriend works from morning to night on his computer all day and he's been extra busy these days so i'm literally just like on my own with the cats pretty sad huh but it's all right i'm not complaining life is good so i just need to i don't know get myself busy that's why i'm filming this youtube video and that's why i'm i don't know trying to do a lot of tiktok videos so yeah shine shot that's a shine shot i have you turn this on Oh my gosh, this is loud! Oh, it's hot! Wait, let me brush my hair. Well, let's try, shall we? So you're supposed to close, hold it close to the roof and like slowly. Slide it down. Okay, 
face. I kind of did this side, and I must say, my head is like super sleek. I don't know if you can see. It's like as if I straightened it, like super sleek. I mean, usually my head is very straight anyway, but I feel like if you're someone with frizzy hair, this will be amazing. It's like a little blow dry at home. Like, look at that. So sleek. And I like this shine shot. I'm gonna do this side. So this is the before. And this is kind of the after. Very nice and sleek. It takes a little a long time because obviously I have a lot of hair, but it's definitely a nice little device, I say. It's really nice and light, so it's not like too heavy or anything. I'm gonna do my whole head and I'll be back because this thing is really loud. I can't talk over it. I guess it's like a um, hair dryer, you know? Okay, my hair is done and they are looking exceptionally straight. Look at that. Like, how silky. I feel like I've like straightened them fully, like I've had a blow dry. It definitely feels soft and beautiful. so soft oh my gosh so pretty and silky I actually did dry my hair pretty fast and it wasn't too like long or anything but I guess my head was already like a little bit dry so I feel like when your hair is a little damp it's maybe better than fully wet because probably it will take longer but I also have a lot of hair so it's nice to have a little new hair tool I love it right I guess that is it for this video I'm gonna go get dressed, take some pictures for the day. Um, I feel like this video is a bit boring. I wasn't really talkative today. It's that time of the month, okay? And it's the first day, so I'm like, I don't know, I need like a glass of wine or something <laughs> to make me talk. Um, I feel like I was supposed to do an update, but I don't know what to say. I'm like lost a little bit. I've been lost for like a few months. I've been lost without my twin. I mean, it's kind of true. Sad, but truth. I haven't even given you an update about my cat, like, my cat has not been well at all. Um, he's got this disease that basically he needs to be on pills for the rest of his life. We're giving him like five pills a day. He's still on antibiotics since December. Um, and yeah, it's been quite a tough couple of months to be fair. So yeah, basically they found like a lump in his small intestine and they thought it was cancer at first, but after so many like biopsies, scans, we've done like three, four scans, biopsies, everything, and it came out like positive, so it wasn't really like cancerous or anything. And then we went to a specialist, which was like two hours away from London. Um, he stayed overnight and basically the woman was really nice. She said he's basically got this disease that actually apparently ragdolls have and it's not even like popular it's been only around for like 10 years so it's very new no one really knows much about it but yeah it's like a i don't know inflammation inside the intestine uh so yeah some cats recover from it some don't we'll see so far he's doing all right he's turning gray <laughs> unfortunately he's sleeping now i would have bring him but he's sleeping um he's like turning gray like his fur is light. I'm gonna attach a picture so you can see. Uh, but it's really weird. I think it's the pills that he's taking. Because he's taking steroids every day. Autoimmune disease pills, which I think those are the ones that can cause like lightening of the fur. And then he's also on antibiotics. So yeah, a lot of pills. It's really hard giving him these pills every day. So I don't even know what we're gonna do if we travel. Like who is gonna be able to give him pills every single day. It's kind of hard. Um, Thank God for insurance as well. <laughs> it's been a crazy few months. It's really sad when your pet is sick. You fear the worst and I don't know, it's very stressful. Um, like he would stop eating, he didn't eat. He was like, had a temperature of 40. It was like so bad. Um, but yeah, the name, of this, the name of this disease is so long. It's like feline gastrointestinal Eosinophilic sclerosing fibroplasia. That's the disease he's got. It's crazy. Um, but yeah. Hopefully he's gonna recover soon and be better. We're gonna have to take him for another scan soon to see how the 
mass is doing if it's like shrunk because it's supposed to it's supposed to shrunk after all the pills that he's taking um so we'll see um yeah that's about it he hates lucky <laughs> so that's great news i mean he doesn't hate him it's because he's sick like we literally got him we got lucky and then he became sick we got lucky in like december and he started having diarrhea in december so like yeah that's when he started actually being sick so he's very grumpy now he's he's not very playful at all he doesn't really like he doesn't like anybody he's like literally became the grumpy cat and like he's a kitten so he like wants to play he wants to jump on him and biggie's not having it it's like it's a water zone every day here it's like stressful like you know i really i really wanted to get a cat for him so he could like play with him but yeah it's not it sometimes it doesn't work out does it Period came in strong, guys. I don't know what's happening. I don't want to mess up my makeup. Okay, I'm going. So yeah, I guess we just need to be positive and hope for the better. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to the summer. I'm looking forward to traveling somewhat. I haven't been anywhere since September. Can you believe? Like. I'm like so pale, like even fake tan doesn't work on me, like I'm so pale, like I don't even have my tan lines anymore. I always used to have like tan lines, not anymore, it's like all gone. I'm hoping we can book some holidays soon and yeah, I really wanted to go to LA but I'm looking at the calendar now and I literally have like one, two, three, four weeks and four days until the wedding. So I don't even know if I have time because I felt if I go to LA, it's gonna be drinking, eating, like, you know, partying, and I wanna, like, go on a little detox before summer, so I think I'm gonna go in June, like I said. Um, so yeah, hopefully in June, me and Claudia are gonna reunite and do some videos together, do a little LA vlog, perhaps, get ready with me. Um, yeah, I kinda miss filming YouTube videos, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and I miss Claudia. But I guess we're getting old now, so we're like living our separate lives. Oh well. Anyway, probably the next video that you'll see from me is gonna be my lip filler video, which I'm so excited about. So stay tuned for that.